Hello there, dear viewers. This is an FW watching myself play Bayonetta as usual. Last video, I went through the last actual kind of level in the game, and now it's time for a boss that will only take me four minutes. The rest of this is cutscenes. Not kidding. It it's. This is not only the most cutscene heavy, but the most plot heavy. Now, I will say this. I do like the story of Bayonetta. The problem is, is that the only reason I was able to actually understand the story was because I looked at the fucking wiki and... Ugh. What follows those living in the light? is nothing but the profound, empty darkness born from the shadow that grows longer as they approach the brilliant breeze. To truly see, your eyes must be open to both light and dark. Don't you agree, my dear child? Little one. You've arrived, my dear sweet Cereza. My, my, why the grim face, my dear? As a child, your smile was warmer than the sun. So, you are the last of the Lumen Sages. I am indeed. My name is Balder, but if you so choose, you may address me as Father. There is much you have forgotten. It has been 500 years since we last met. If your memories were still intact, this would have been a much more emotional reconciliation. How did you get the girl? Where shall I begin? We, the Lumen Sages, and your Umbra Witches, have long been the overseers of history, each bearing witness with their own eye. This is how our universes... existence was preserved. However, for 500 years, you have been exiled from the world's affairs. You are the left eye of the eyes of the world. Could you dispense with the riddles and just tell me what these sodding eyes actually are? Your years of slumber have caused you to forget many things, even as we stand on the verge of the resurrection of the Creator. The resurrection of Jubileus. There is but one way to return your epic of forgotten memory and open your eye of the overseer. Your uncorrupted eye had to be exposed to the history it could not see. Ah. Your battles, your struggles, everything you've experienced in this town has been a stepping stone for your enlightenment. It has all been done for the left eye. I've had enough of your philosophical pretensions. I won't ask again. Where did you get the girl? <laughs> your question has been answered. All this has been done to awaken the left eye. For that, you had to see yourself once more. You 
are truly beyond salvation, Sage. Ah, salvation. Such a curious word. I mark the path to salvation with light. However, no matter how brilliant that light grows, the darkness within the human heart grows even darker. Light, dark, and chaos between. Three realities, once split, shall be brought together to create a new universe in the image of the old. To these ends, leading to the Festival of Resurrection 500 years ago, I fanned the flames of terror, spurring on the witch hunts. However, despite the people's belief in the return of Jubileus, the creator, the left eye was out of reach. Since then, I have devoted myself to this town's prosperity, and now it is time for my preparations to bear fruit. Jubileus will be resurrected. We will become the eyes of the world, and a new universe will take us. Fluffy! I could never call the man behind this nightmare father. Uh, great speech, big guy. Luca. Getting a bit ahead of ourselves, aren't we, Mr. Big Shot Ithaval Executive? Salvation, light. You take this entrepreneurial philosophy a bit seriously, don't you? But it's all diarrhea of the mouth, if you ask me. History is littered with famous genocidal figures just like you. Or, should I say, infamous genocidal figures. You must be Luca, journalist extraordinaire. I must say, I'm truly impressed you've made it this far, child. Like father, like son, I suppose. What? Luca, Luca, Luca. Your father had problems with my philosophy. It's fine to investigate, but when malicious rumors start to spread, I must see to it that they come to a stop. For being kind enough to ascertain that my long-lost eraser was at the bottom of some lake, I granted him his final wish and accepted his permanent resignation. You bastard! I guess my plan has gone right out the window. <laughs> Such a shame that sacrifice had to be made. But if destiny is not fulfilled soon, this tragedy will be repeated ad nauseum. Speaking of tragedy, I suppose you've met Jean. While she sealed you away, and kept you from trouble, after falling into our hands, she's been incredibly useful. Although her distinct lack of obedience required a bit of mental reprogramming. Her 
traffic end led you directly to me. Just as planned. The time for awakening the left eye is soon. Fear not, my dear, sweet Cereza. Okay, yes, yeah, now the cutscene's over. Your eyes did not lie to you. That did take about 12 minutes. And now it's time for me to fucking cheese this fight out, because fuck me, am I gonna. T oh, God. Anyway, yeah, that's, um. Big War Dumps. Or Plot Dumps, I should say. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that fucking damage. Of course, that's not the end. That'd be. Way too simple. Okay, um, now first things first. You saw how Boulder um, was able to uh, stop time and all that kind of stuff. Well, the reason why he was able to do that was, in fact, because that was the Lumen Sage version of Witch Time, which is called White Speed. I'm, I'm not kidding. Uh, anyway. Ah, oh, it's a little long bit. I, it's just... Look at the, when, when he has this design, I do tend to forget that he just has Cereza in his fucking chest. It, it's just so weird to look at and think about. I take a few hits, but... Oh yeah, and look at this. Yep. Just how many people is he killing right here? Just how many are dying? It's not like it matters, but... Yep, Nash. Nash, there we go! Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, Boulder. I still love how evil he is, though. I mean, yeah... Yeah, sure, it, it's fine to have a good, good villain, but... Fucking... It's just... Oop, fucked up on that. There we go. Also, just how impossibly high this entire place is. Nuts! Going nuts! Also, if you didn't seem, if you didn't realize it, Bayonetta is Cereza. Yeah, fuck you.
Yeah, as you can see, the basically the the, uh, the entire tower is stretching up from the ground. Yeah, you know, we're not actually falling. We're in fact, on like a flat plane, it looks like. Eh, <laughs> whatever. Oh! Something I- another, another thing interesting that I don't think it ever really touches on, but something I, once again, learned from the wiki. It's the fact that, um, because Bayonetta has a, uh, a father who's a woman sage and a mother who is a, uh, a witch, that it is theoretically possible for her to have gotten either, uh, powers, either abilities. I still can't get over the fact that it was, like, in the last video, I think. Okay. Cutscene time's going on soon, so might as well stop talking again. Don't fuck with the witch. Yeah, you don't want to fuck this up, or else you basically have to go through the boss fight again. If you fail to hit him with this, it is an instant game over. Gotta give you credit, Bayonetta. You never cease to impress. You haven't seen the half of it. I've seen enough. Well, that about wraps it up, huh? Not yet. No need to be afraid, little one. The nightmare is over. Everything was just a dream. You're a strong little girl. There is nothing you cannot overcome. Mommy? Did you find it? What you were looking for? Yes. I found it. So don't you worry anymore. You just keep your treasure safe, too. Sweet dreams, little one. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, oh.
never lose it. Understand, little one? You must keep it safe, close to your heart. I'm not afraid anymore, Mummy. No matter what. There's nothing I cannot do. is done. The right eye oversees the light. The left eye oversees the darkness. Two eyes to oversee the world. It was never the woman known as Bayonetta that I set my sights upon. It was you, as a child, Cereza, that I saw. For she was the one who saw the world through innocent eyes. And she was the one who could give rise to a new history. It was her energy that could awaken the left eye. This has all worked out splendid. Let us begin, Cereza. The time is at hand. Now, the resurrection of Jubileus shall be completed. We are the eyes. Overseeing the world, we are the eyes overseeing a new era, a new reality, to which we will devote ourselves eternally. Well, that about ends that one. <laughs> and then the game ended. No, not yet. We still have the... Uh... Oh, yeah, see, look at that. Four, four minutes. And even when I was playing cheap, I still did. Anyway, um... Next video, we'll be ending this one. But, um... <clears throat> sorry, yeah. Until then, this is the Nefty W signing out. <laughs>